Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at creating tabs. So, so far inside this layout series, what we've got is a wider form. We've also got three different sections of our form as well. One with the rich text at the top that allows us to have a title. So we've got the title of purchase order form that fills the width of the form. We've then got a two column section where we've got the purchase order number and the date. And then we've got a single column section again. And it's inside this single column section that we're now going to go through and add a tab control so that we can group together some of these fields, such as the ship to name, ship to company, ship to street, ship to city, etc. So let's jump to it. I'm going to simply click cancel and then we're going to go into Lightning Forms. And we're going to continue with the customization of our new form, ASPX. And so inside our new form ASPX, in the third section where we've got the full width of the form, we're going to click the plus icon. And below the fields, you'll notice that we've got data connectors and then we have controls. And it's from the controls section that we're going to go through and select tabs. So once we've got tabs selected, you'll notice that we start off with just a single tab. But what I'm going to do is add two more tabs and you can add as many as makes sense. So I'm just going to go through and add two more. So we now have our three different tabs inside our form. And on the left hand tab, you'll notice that we've got the little configure tab button. So we're going to configure that first tab by clicking onto the configure tab button. And in here is the tab configuration panel where we're going to go through and provide it a name. So the name of that panel is going to be requester. So we've got requester and then we're going to choose uh, to leave the visible and enabled blank uh, at the moment. This is going to basically control when the tab appears and we want that tab to always appear. So we'll leave these uh, blank. But if you wanted to later on, once you've learned some expressions, uh, we'll be able to go through and hide these tabs based upon certain circumstances. Now we're going to also set an icon. Uh, so either we can select from some of the fabric UI icons that we include inside of Lightning Forms or you can go through and upload your own custom image. We tend to find that uh, selecting an icon from the built-in icons, you'll usually find something that works. Uh, so uh, for a re requester, for example, uh, I'm just gonna go with a person icon and you'll notice that you can search the icons. So if you start to type people, for example, you'll, uh, you'll get people. Uh, if we were to type in person, then we might get person and so on. So uh, we're gonna select this person and, uh, and he's going to be or she's going to be our icon and we'll click into OK. So there's our, our requester tab and we're going to go through and also set the properties on the second tab here, which is going to be our ship to. And again, we're going to leave the visible and enabled blank. Uh, and then under the icon here, we're going to choose a truck. So uh, we'll select the truck and I'm sure there's a plane and things like that if you prefer. Uh, and then thirdly, we're going to have a status tab and that status tab uh, will allow me to check in whether this purchase order has been approved or not. And uh, what we'll do also later on, uh, once we cover styling, is to also highlight the color of that tab based on whether the status is set to approved or not. So uh, for this one, I'm just going to choose a uh, check so uh, let's go through and select that. We could have a bold check or a standard check. Um, I'll go with this one. Uh, so let's just choose OK. And we've now got our three tabs. Now, in the previous video, we learned about sections. And uh, we can also work with those sections and multiple columns within inside each tab. So um, we could, if you wanted to, add a separate section to this that would allow me to have maybe a mix of two columns and one column inside the requester tab um, or I can just simply change the configuration of the existing section so uh, here we can click onto that row configuration choose our one two or three columns and I'm going to go with two and under the ship to uh, we're going to do the same thing we'll go with two columns wide there and status I'll change that one to three Okay, so we can mix and match this as we go through. So now we can start to drag and drop our fields into these sections. So um, we've got things like the vendor type, uh, which I'm going to put under requester, as with the vendor. Uh, ship to name is actually going to go here under the ship to tab. 
likewise with ship to company and the street and the city zip the phone could go there as well why not let's drop that in here and then we've got things like shipping method uh, so that could also go there along with shipping terms and uh, delivery date as well so they're all the fields that we want for our ship to information and then under status is where we might want to show the subtotal the sales tax the grand total and uh, we'll have who this was requested by uh, we've got the reason for the request as well I'm just going to drop that in fact here uh, but I want that to fill the width of the form since it's a, it's a rich text column so we'll, we'll drop that in there and then we've got status which of course is going to go into the status tab as is approved by and the vendor email uh, we will put that here next to vendor type and vendor okay and uh, we'll leave that uh, there with the exception of status let's just drop that status here into your signature into status uh, as well okay so that's our, our form layout now with uh, with several different tabs so you'll notice if we save and close that has saved and closed our form so when we hit new now we get our wide form and we've got three different tabs allowing me to fill out the forms uh, more conveniently rather than having to scroll up and down and a common question that we get asked as well is what happens if this uh, this form uh, is displayed on a small device so uh, I just want to show you that as I bring that down I want to show you what happens to these tabs as well so notice as we get smaller uh, on our screen size that our modern form also changes and those tabs actually appear on top of each other as opposed to side by side uh, so that they can fit on the screen. All right, I hope you found this useful. Many thanks, bye.